on tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. In my time of meditation, amen, this week, amen. I was led, amen, to passage of scripture found there in St. Matthew's gospel, amen. Hallelujah. St. Matthew's gospel, amen, chapter number 28, if you would, hallelujah. St. Matthew's gospel, chapter number 28. And we're going to look at the last few verses, amen, in that chapter, amen, starting at verse number 18, hallelujah, starting at verse number 18, hallelujah, and this is what it says, and Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth, go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe. Amen. All things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even until the end. Amen. Even until the end of the of the world. Amen. Hallelujah. Thus is the reading of God's word. Hallelujah. Listen on tonight. Amen. I just want to talk about. I just want to talk about discipleship. Amen. I want to talk about. Amen. Making disciples. That's what I want to talk about. Amen. Hallelujah. Even as we're Closing out this year of reset, hallelujah, we've declared, amen, the year of 2021 to be the year, certainly, of reset, amen, hallelujah, I trust, I, I, I believe, amen, beyond a shadow of a doubt, we've taken the church of the Lord Jesus Christ in the places that God certainly, amen, over the years that God has certainly never ordained for the church, amen, to be, and I believe, amen, that uh, uh, the pandemic Amen. Hallelujah has certainly, amen, uh, uh, caused us, amen, to take a, a, a look. Hallelujah. If, if, if uh, to take a look, amen, over a uh, look at some of the things, amen, that we've done, amen. We certainly, amen, changed the way, amen, that we've done church, amen. Hallelujah. And I believe, amen, that the Lord, amen, as we would close out this year of reset. Amen. Would have me tonight, amen, to talk about, amen, this thing called discipleship. Now, in 1984, I don't, many of you may have remembered the movie called The Karate Kid. Hallelujah. It was a movie in 1984 called The Karate Kid. Pat Mirares, he started, he started as, he starred as Maaji, I believe is so the way that Chinese that that, that Chinese name is pr uh, pronounced. Maaji, Hallelujah! And he develops a relationship in this movie. He develops a relationship with a young man by the name with a young man by the name of Daniel. Daniel, in fact, is uh, the karate. He's the karate kid. Hallelujah! The movie, Amen. It centers around Maaji. I, I hope I'm, I'm saying that right. Maaji. It centers around. Maaji's efforts to mentor and to, if you will, disciple, to disciple Daniel. And as they begin this new relationship, Maaji, hear me, Maaji says to Daniel, let's make a sacred pact. Uh, uh, let's enter into a, 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 a covenant. And this is what he says to Daniel. He says, I'll teach karate. That's my part. And you promise to learn. Hallelujah. He said, uh, 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 I say and you do. No questions asked. That's your part. He says, "Is that a deal?" Hallelujah. And after, and after they make this 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 pact, this sacred pact, or this uh, this covenant, uh, uh, if you will, uh, Miyagi assigns Daniel. Watch this now. He assigns Daniel to waxing his car. Hallelujah. He and he is this pretty old 1958, uh, this 1958 roaster or something. Amen. And he assigns Daniel, amen, to wax in the car. And he instructs him how to wax it. He says, circular motions on to put the wax on. He says, and to take the wax off. He says, you use circular motion, amen, to take the wax off. Now, this task that Maiaji gave to Daniel. It seemed totally unrelated to Daniel to uh, 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 to to karate. It seemed totally, amen, unrelated uh, uh, to what he want what he wanted to learn, amen, from Maiaji. In fact, as the movie goes on, 
Daniel, uh, he constantly complains, amen. He constantly complains about having a man to, uh, to wax that car. But by the end of the movie, amen, we get to, uh, by the end of the movie, we get to see that Mayaji, amen, he uses all of these seemingly unrelated tasks to turn Daniel into a karate champion. Why am I saying that? Hallelujah. Why am I using that example? You see, well, Daniel, in order to become a karate champion, he would have to learn more than how to execute a man karate chops. He would have to learn more than how to uh, 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 get into a T-stand or do a snap kick. Hallelujah. If he was going to become a karate champion, hallelujah, Daniel had to learn, a man, he would have to learn discipline hallelujah he would have to learn the discipline now the word disciple hallelujah the, dis the word disciple actually means amen a disciplined amen learner hallelujah that's what it actually means amen a disciplined learner so as we look at our text on tonight what what, what we want to talk about what is a discipleship hallelujah what is jesus amen in the 28th chapter as he closes out, as the 28th chapter of Matthew closes out, what is Jesus calling you to do? And what is Jesus, amen, calling me to do in Matthew, amen, chapter 28, verses 18 through 20? I'm going to ask you tonight, is this a command or is it is it a suggestion? Does it mean, amen, that as a church that we are just to uh, evangelize and once we evangelize people and get them into the church, does it mean that we are to let people find faith, amen, to find faith on their own? Or does it mean that we are to teach others? Uh, uh, does it mean, amen, that we are to teach the precepts, amen, of principles and the character of Jesus Christ? When we talk about, amen, discipleship, Hear me tonight. Does it require obedience and action on our part? Or, 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 or are we just disciples, amen, because we come to church and uh, put our names on a church roll, hallelujah. Uh, uh, does that make us a disciple because we in uh, Sunday service? Does it make us disciples, amen, tonight because we in Bible study? Are we a disciple, amen, because we are in Sunday school? And I thought about that, amen. I, 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 I thought about that as I was preparing tonight. Uh, because if the truth were to be told, church has certainly changed, amen, hallelujah, it's certainly changed from the environment, amen, that I grew up, amen, in church, hallelujah. I can remember, amen, first of all, I can remember growing up in church, was Sundays, amen, all we did on a Sunday was church. Oh, Layla, if you're as old as I am, you know you couldn't buy a dozen of eggs on a Sunday, right? I mean, Sunday, amen, hallelujah, everything was closed, couldn't get in the drugstore. I mean, uh, all we did on a Sunday, amen, was church. And here's the thing about that environment. Once we walked in the door, all of the elders, all of the adults became, amen, spiritual parents. Hallelujah. It wasn't just a thing where we just went in church. Amen. Hallelujah. And sit down. Amen. But all of the all of the adults. Amen. Listen, they put forth effort. Amen. Uh, uh, in their own way to make sure that we understood a uh, understood what was required, what was required of us. Amen. As as believers. Uh, I remember this thing called uh, a BTU, Baptist Training Union. We had Sunday school on Sundays. Church would start, amen, listen, church would start at 9 o'clock on a Sunday morning and we wouldn't get back home. Listen, guys, we wouldn't get back home till 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night. Amen, hallelujah. And then all week long, all week long, there were things going on, amen, in church. And that wasn't just for the adults. There was things all week going on, amen, for... For, for the youth also, because it was a part of discipling us, amen, into this Christian faith, hallelujah, into this Christian walk, hallelujah. It was a way of exposing us, amen, as youth, as young people, to the behaviors, amen, to the behavior that was expected of us 
as 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 Christian children. Hallelujah. Now this passage, this passage of scripture, amen, that we're looking at in uh, Matthew 28, amen, it's called the great, amen, the great commission. That word commission is a very, very interesting word, amen. A commission means uh, uh, it's a duty to go forth and to convert. That's what Jesus is charging, amen, these, these disciples with in this 28th chapter of Matthew, amen. It's a duty. He's given them a charge to go forth and to convert, amen, all nations, all tongues. Hallelujah. He says, go forth into the world, making disciples. It was their charge, amen, hallelujah, to convert people unto Christianity. In fact, amen, there was a, 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 a Christian radio program some years ago that used to come on. Amen. And uh, it came on by saying this, people that know tell people that needs to know Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. People that know tell people that needs to know Jesus. And that's the great commission. Jesus charges you and he charges me. Once we make the decision, the conscious decision, amen, hallelujah, to give our lives, amen, over to Jesus, amen, hallelujah. He gives you and I a charge, amen, to go forth and to tell other people, hallelujah, about the, 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 uh, 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 the life-changing grace, amen, hallelujah. He gives us a charge, amen, to go forth and to tell other people, amen, about what he has done amen, on the cross, amen, for each and every one, for each and every one of us. Now the Great Commission, hallelujah, this is the charge that Jesus gives, amen, to his church, this is the charge, amen, that Jesus has given to his disciples, hallelujah, and it's also what I believe, hallelujah, is the great failure of the church. I, I, I honestly believe, amen, hallelujah, that this Great Commission, is the great failure, amen, of the church. Hallelujah. Because if the truth were to be told, this commission is the main, this is the main call or the main charge to the church from Jesus. Hallelujah. And it's one thing, hallelujah, that that the that 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 we in the body of Christ, amen, hallelujah, we have failed, hear me. We have failed, amen, to uh we failed to do this. In fact, what brought me to, uh, to this point, uh, I, be, uh, I was thinking about a nephew of mine that joined the church, hallelujah, and for a while, amen, he was in there, hallelujah, he was coming faithfully, amen, every Sunday, hallelujah, but then all of a sudden he fell off, and I called him to apologize, I called him to apologize to him, hallelujah, I called to apologize to him for not actually mentoring him. Hallelujah, for actually not taking him under my wings. Amen, hallelujah. And that's what discipleship is. It's when we take somebody, amen, under our wings and we pour into them, amen, what has been poured, amen, into us. Hallelujah. And the charge to disciple, hear me, the charge to disciple, amen, goes to each and every one of us, amen, that God, amen, has saved. Hallelujah. Discipleship, hear me today. Discipleship, brothers and sisters, is the main reason. It's the main reason that the church, amen, exists. Hallelujah. Because without, amen, discipleship, hear me. Without discipleship, most Christians will not understand, amen, how to live their faith. Without discipleship, amen, hallelujah, most people will not understand how to live their faith. Faith. Now, when we talk about faith, amen, we're talking about, amen, a way of life. Hallelujah. It's a way of life. It's different. Amen. God calls us. God calls you and God calls me, amen, to be different. And without discipleship, most people, brothers and sisters, hear me today, they would not understand how to live, amen, out their faith. They will not be able, hear me, without discipleship. They will not be able, amen, to handle problems. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus calls you and Jesus calls me, amen, to handle problems, amen, in a different way. He calls us to handle death, 
amen, in a different way. And without discipleship, most people will not understand hear me. They will not understand, amen, how to witness, hallelujah, without being discipled. They will not understand, brothers and sisters, how to share their faith, hallelujah. They will not even understand, amen, how to grow effectively spiritually, simply because no one is modeling, or no one is taking them under their wings, no one is nurturing them, no one is showing them, amen, the way, hallelujah. I mean, people... Amen. People might be, uh, 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 may come in the church and believe, amen, that Christians don't have problems. We have problems just like the rest of the world. Amen. Uh, Christians, uh, I mean, people might come in the church, amen, and think, amen, listen, might think that you don't go through struggles in marriage. Yes, a financial problem. Yes, we do have problems. Hallelujah. But we understand, amen, that in the midst of the problems, Amen. We understand that we have a problem solver. Hallelujah. We understand. Amen. Because we've been discipled that adversity, hear me, that adversity is only an opportunity. Amen. For God to show up. Amen. And turn some stuff around. Somebody ought to shout. Amen. Somebody ought to shout glory. The truth ought to be told. Amen. For the most part, the church Hallelujah. The church of the living, uh, the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We've abandoned discipleship and we, we, we've left members, amen, to figure out the spiritual, spiritual growth things, amen, on their own. Hallelujah. We expect them, amen, to get it, amen, by coming to Sunday school or get it, amen, by coming to church. Amen. Hallelujah. I know I'm guilty of that myself. Amen. But hallelujah. No. Amen. Listen, people need accountability partners. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Because if the truth were to be told, amen, once we're saved, amen, listen, once we're saved, we're not on a playground. I know, I know it's been taught once you give your life to Christ, amen, hallelujah, everything's when you're going to go to heaven on a flowery bed of ease, amen, nothing could be further from the truth. When you and I get saved, brothers and sisters, we're not on a playground, hallelujah, we're on a battlefield. Hallelujah. We've been thrust. Amen. Hear me. We've been thrust on the front line of a battlefield. Amen. We just come out of a series talking about, amen, knowing your adversary. Amen. The devil. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And what the enemy, amen, wants to do. Hallelujah. Once we get saved, amen, he wants us to renege. Hallelujah. He wants us to turn around, wave the white flag of surrender, throw in the towel, amen, go back to familiar habits, go back, amen, to familiar ways, hallelujah. And what needs to happen in the church when people come in, hallelujah, they need to be assigned people. We need to take them under our wings and nurture them and walk them through it. Hallelujah. We need to walk them through it. Amen. There needs to be, amen, hallelujah aftercare, if you will. Hallelujah. I think that'll work right there. It needs to be aftercare. Amen. Once they've made the decision, hallelujah, watch this now, to get saved, hallelujah, then the process of discipleship, amen, starts. Hallelujah. Salvation doesn't end anything. Salvation, brothers and sisters, amen, it starts, amen, everything. Hallelujah. And if we don't, listen, when we don't or when we fail in the area of discipleship, amen, watch this now, once we fail in that area, many people, brothers and sisters, amen, hallelujah, many people, amen, young Christians, amen, uh, 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 they give up, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, discipleship, here it is, discipleship closed the back door, that's what discipleship does, hallelujah, it closes, amen, it closes, amen, the back door. Hallelujah. If we don't disciple, amen, people when they come into the church, amen, people will get weary, amen, they'll give up, hallelujah. Others become confused, some become complacent, hallelujah, or they're just swept away, amen, by false, they're swept away, amen, by false doctrines and cults because they do not know they do not know the difference. I know there's a there's there's this new cult, amen, that's on the street, the young Israelites or, 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 or something. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know the Israelites or, or something, but listen, hallelujah. Now they have some truth, but they don't have amen 
all of the truth. Amen. And why? Amen. Would you stop? I remember telling, uh, 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 I was approached by one of them. I said, man, listen, you don't have all of the truth. You only got half of the truth. Amen. Hallelujah. You're standing on some stuff. Amen. But there is more. Hallelujah. Amen. Open the book and get the rest. Amen. Get the rest of the story. Now hear me tonight because this is the premise of the teaching. Amen. The church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hear me on tonight. We are called brothers and sisters. Amen. Hallelujah. We're called to make disciples. Nobody, amen, listen, I don't need nobody like praising, amen, more than I love to praise, amen, hallelujah, I love to teach, amen, hallelujah, I love to preach, amen, I love to pray, amen, hallelujah, I love to fast, amen, hallelujah, but the bottom line, brothers and sisters, amen, God has called me and God has called you, amen, hallelujah, to go into the world. Hear me, we don't have a problem testifying in the church, amen, to how good the Lord is, amen, hallelujah, amen. But Jesus calls us, amen, to go testify, amen, in the world, hallelujah, on your job, amen, in your neighborhood, in your own family, hallelujah. God has set you up to be a testimony, to be a living witness, amen, to his goodness, amen. And once we get them in, Hallelujah. Once we get amen based on testimony, hallelujah, based on amen evangelism, the job does not stop, brothers and sisters. Amen. Hallelujah. We have been charged. Amen. Hear me. We've been charged to make uh, disciples. Now, when we look at Jesus, hear me. Jesus prepared 30 years for ministry that was only going to last three and a half years. But in those three and a half years of Jesus' earthly ministry, hallelujah, what Jesus did day in and day out was equip those 12, amen, disciples. Amen. He was with them every day. Hallelujah. Equipping them, amen, on how, amen, to go into the world, amen, how to go into the world, amen, and make disciples. And this was Jesus' drive. Amen. This, this was Jesus' drive, and this was where Jesus, amen, spent most of his time. In fact, amen, hallelujah, if Jesus wasn't praying, amen, he was mentoring, amen, those 12 disciples. He was focused, hear me, he was focused on the teaching of the kingdom, hallelujah. He was focused on teaching those 12 disciples, amen, to see past their present situation, hallelujah, and to look, amen, forward to the life to come. Hallelujah. And that's what, amen, discipleship, amen. That's what discipleship, brothers and sisters, is about. Mark, amen, hallelujah. Mark, the first chapter, amen, uh, the 17th verse. Mark, first chapter, 17th verse. Look what Jesus says. And Jesus says unto them, come ye after me, and I will make you to become fishers, amen. I will make you to become fishers of men. And then in verse Number 18, hallelujah, immediately the Bible says they left their nets, amen, and they followed him. And this exact same pattern, brothers and sisters, is repeated there in verse, amen, number 20, hallelujah. In verse number 20, it says, and straightway he called them and they left their father Zebedee in the ship with the hired servants, and they went after, amen, and they went after him. Back to our movie, amen, The Karate Kid, Majari and Daniel, hallelujah. It was, it was just like that, amen. Discipleship, hear me. Discipleship is supposed to do in discipleship, amen, hallelujah. The student is supposed to do, amen, everything that the leader says, and that was the, uh, that was the sacred, sacred agreement that Daniel and Majari and the Karate Kid, they entered into. But Majari told them, amen, I say, amen, and you do. Hallelujah. I teach, amen, and you learn. Hallelujah. The disciples should do everything, amen, that their leader says without question, without hesitation, amen, or without, amen, reservation. Such is, amen, discipleship in real life. Hear me on tonight. Hallelujah. The Greek word 
the Greek word, amen, or the Greek term for disciple in the New Testament, uh, 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 it means more than just a student. Hallelujah. It means more than just a learner. Hallelujah. Because a disciple is a follower. Jesus told uh, uh, Jesus here in Mark 1 and 17 says, follow, amen, follow me. Hallelujah. A follower is someone a follower is someone who adheres completely, brothers and sisters, to the teaching, amen, to the teaching of another, hallelujah, making those teachings, amen, his rule of life and conduct, hallelujah. So in real life, amen, everything we see Jesus do, hallelujah, you and I, amen, should mimic it as his disciples, hallelujah. Jesus expects you and Jesus expects me, brothers and sisters, he expects us, amen, to follow. He expects us, brothers and sisters, to follow him. Hallelujah. Now, let me just sum up discipleship. Hallelujah. In the way that Jesus does in John chapter 13, amen, verse 34 through 35. This is what Jesus says. I give unto you a new commandment. He says this. Hallelujah. You are also to love one another just as I have loved you. And by this, he says, by this shall all men know that you are, amen, that you are my disciple. Hallelujah. Why is love, amen, the litmus test? Why is love the litmus test of discipleship in real life? Hallelujah. Because first of all, brothers and sisters, amen, love makes you and love makes me, amen, love make us, amen, just like God. Hallelujah. First John 4, 7 and 8 says, beloved, let us love one another because love is from God and everyone who love has been born of God and knows God. Hallelujah. The one that does not love, John says, does not know God because God is. Hear me tonight. Because God is love. Hallelujah. That's the first reason why love is so important. The second reason, hallelujah, the word of God hangs on the issue, amen, of love. Hallelujah. Matthew, amen, 22, 37 and 38 says this. He says unto them, Love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, and with all of your mind. Hallelujah. He says, this is the greatest and most important. This is the greatest and most important commandment. And the second is lacking unto it. It says, love your neighbor, amen, as yourself. He says, upon this, all the law and the prophets hangs on these two, hangs on these two commandments. Hallelujah. Another reason why love is so important is because Jesus says so. Then Jesus says to the Jews, amen, according to John 8 and 31. Then Jesus says to the Jews who believed on him, if you continue in my word, watch this now. If you continue in my word, you are really, amen, hallelujah, you are really my disciples. Hallelujah. Now, many people, brothers and sisters, they think, Amen. Many people think that they're good disciples because they know a lot of answers. Many people, amen, think they're good disciples. Amen. Hallelujah. Because they know a lot of answers and they follow, amen, their own set of rules. But hear me on tonight. Hallelujah. And I say their own set of rules because, amen, they're, they're, uh, most people usually have a favorite, amen, subset of biblical teachings. Hallelujah. You know, they go to worship. Amen. We read our Bibles. We give a tithe. We pray. Amen. And we care about people. We care about people like us. Hallelujah. We care about people. Amen. Like us. All the all, all, all these Christian things. Hallelujah. But that's not what Jesus declares to you. And that's not what Jesus declares to me as the ultimate sign, brothers and sisters, as the ultimate sign of real discipleship. Hallelujah, hear me on tonight, because the ultimate expression, the ultimate expression of a disciple is love. Hallelujah, that's the ultimate expression of a disciple. Hallelujah, it's love. It's how you and I live out everything that we know, amen, about God. Hallelujah, love not only for God, 
the love, amen, for our neighbors, amen, love for other people, amen, real discipleship has an upward dimension, amen, with God, hallelujah, but it also have an outward implication, amen, with other people, that's the sign of the cross, amen, hallelujah, there's an upward dimension with God, but then there's an outward, amen, hallelujah, dimension, amen, with other people, hallelujah, love, brothers and sisters, is how we live out everything, Love is how we live out everything, amen, about, amen, about God. Hallelujah. This is what Jesus, amen, told, amen, an Old Testament legal expert, amen, the lawyers or the scribes, amen, of his day over in Luke chapter number 10. Hallelujah. Jesus told the scribe, he says, amen, because the scribe, amen, was wanting to justify himself. And he asked Jesus, amen, who is my neighbor? To this question, amen, Jesus told a parable, amen, familiar parable, amen, called the Good Samaritan, huh? Samaritan, the Samaritan, amen, who helped a man who had been beaten, who had been wounded, stripped, amen, and left for dead or half dead on the Jericho Road. Now, these two men, the Samaritan and the man that was stripped, wounded, amen, and left for dead, hallelujah, they could not be, amen, more different hallelujah amen listen but love crossed the line amen of race remember this is a samaritan samaritan did not amen associate amen with jews hallelujah but love brothers and sisters it crossed the line amen of race and the reason amen i'm here amen on tonight amen because amen this issue of race is certainly in the forefront Amen. On today, amen. Our nation, amen. Hallelujah. Our nation is as polarized today, amen, as it has ever been. Hallelujah. And uh, Martin Luther King once said, amen, at 11 a.m. on a Sunday morning, hallelujah, is the most segregated hour, amen, in the land. Hallelujah. We go to our church, amen. They go to their church, amen. But we all, amen, Christians. Hallelujah. Here in the good, here in the parable of the Good Samaritan, Amen. Hallelujah. Love crosses, Amen, the line of race. You know why? Because it does not matter, brothers and sisters, Amen. What color your skin may be, culture, Amen. Our culture, brothers and sisters, does not matter when it comes down, Amen, to being in the kingdom, Amen, of God. Your political affiliation. A man does not matter. It doesn't matter if you're a Republican. It doesn't matter if you're a Democrat. It doesn't matter, brothers and sisters, if you are a man and independent. A man, our social economic status. A man, hallelujah, should not matter. All of that, brothers and sisters, get checked at the door socially. A man, listen, it doesn't matter. A man, if you got a lot of money. Hallelujah. Or it doesn't matter. Amen. If you don't have money at all. Hallelujah. When we come to the kingdom, brothers and sisters, none of that stuff. Amen. None of that stuff matters. Your tradition. Amen. The traditions that you hung on. Amen. The things that you were raised in and taught in. When we come into the kingdom. Hallelujah. All of that stuff, brothers and sisters. Amen. It does not hear me tonight. It does not matter because the ultimate expression of real discipleship hallelujah the ultimate expression brothers and sisters amen is love hallelujah now if you're still not convinced amen how about this amen hallelujah this is what paul says in first corinthians if i have the gift of prophecy and if i understand all mysteries and all knowledge and if i have all faith he says so that i can move mountains but do not have love Paul says, amen, I, I'm not nothing, amen, I'm not nothing at all. Hallelujah. Discipleship, hear me tonight, brothers and sisters, in real life, discipleship is not easy, and discipleship, brothers and sisters, is not convenient. Say that again. Discipleship is not easy, and discipleship is not convenient. It has a real cost attached to it. Hallelujah. If you're going to become a man, a disciple, amen, if that's your desire, 
to follow Jesus. Amen. It has a real cost, brothers and sisters. Hear me tonight. It has a real cost attached to following Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody say, why would I say that? Well, it costs Jesus his life. Hallelujah. It costs Jesus himself his life. Hallelujah. Hear me on tonight. This is what Jesus says to the crowd, amen, that was following him. Jesus says this, if any man wants to follow me, let him deny himself. Let him pick up his cross and let him follow me. you find that over in Mark chapter number eight, amen, and verse 30 and verse 34. Now that's real discipleship. That's real discipleship when you pick up your cross hallelujah deny yourself amen and you say amen for god i'm gonna live for god i'm gonna die amen and i'm gonna follow amen i'm gonna follow jesus hear me because knowledge brothers and sisters come from experience and experience comes from amen discipleship hallelujah the will of god hear me on tonight the will of god for us amen is first to study his word amen hallelujah why that we might amen show ourselves proven unto God. Amen. By studying the word of God, hear me. By studying the word of God, brothers and sisters, it should change our behavior. Amen. It should change, amen, our lifestyle. Hallelujah. That's the purpose, amen, of the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Paul says, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed, amen, by the renewing of your mind. Now hear me, because Jesus, amen, is the author of our faith and he teaches us, hear me, Jesus teaches you and Jesus teaches me, amen, how to run. He teaches us how to run this Christian work race according to God's will, amen, hallelujah. He teaches us to run the Christian race according, amen, to God's will, hallelujah, according to God's purpose, Hallelujah, according, amen, that we might give glory, that you and I might be glory to God. Now, there are three main principles, hallelujah, of discipleship. I'm going to talk about them real briefly, amen, in the time we have left. Amen. There are three, amen, areas or three principles, or three principles, amen, of discipleship. Relate, uh, 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 first, relationship and mentoring, hallelujah. Teaching, amen, hallelujah, it's mentoring, amen, it's relationship, it's teaching relationships, it's mentoring, amen, relationships. We're called, you and I are called to build a network of relationships, hallelujah, that we can build each other up, that we can build each other up, amen, through friendships, and we can build each other up, amen, through mentoring, hallelujah. Most people are intimidated, watch this now. Most people are intimidated, amen, by this thing called a discipleship out of fear or either fear or either ignorance, hallelujah, or just not wanting, amen, to be bothered, hallelujah. If we're going to, uh, uh, to disciple other people, amen, it's going to cost us, amen, it's going to cost us, amen, a lot of time, amen, it's going to pull us, amen, out of our comfort zone. So most people, amen, hallelujah, in the body of Christ, amen, we're just, amen, intimidated, we're intimidated, amen, by this thing, amen, called, amen, discipleship. But the bottom line is, brothers and sisters, amen, what God has given unto you, what God has put into your life and what God has put into my life, amen. Listen, it's not for us, amen, just to can it uh, or to hold on to it. The things that God has taught us, amen, he taught us in, in order that we might, amen, in order that we might teach others. Hallelujah. Discipleship. Again, discipleship, amen, it's, it's been viewed, amen, only for, amen, the spiritually mature, but nothing can be further, amen, from the truth. Hear me on tonight, hallelujah. Uh, uh, discipleship, amen, we might think, amen, that it's only, amen, for Sunday school teachers or for deacons, amen, or for preachers or for deaconess, amen, but nothing, brothers and sisters, could be further. Nothing can be farther than the truth. Hear me on tonight. Hallelujah. You look at uh, 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 relationships like Barnabas and, 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 and the Apostle Paul. Hallelujah. We know Paul went on to be uh, 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 one of the greatest, amen, Christians uh, 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 in the Bible. But he was mentored, amen, by Barnabas. Hallelujah. And after 
After we see Barnabas mentoring Paul, we don't hear anything about Barnabas again. But after Paul was mentored, hallelujah, Paul took Timothy, amen, under his wing. And Paul mentored, amen, Paul mentored, uh, uh, Paul mentored Timothy, hallelujah. He took the Christian experience, hallelujah, that he had learned, amen, that he had gleaned from Barnabas, hallelujah. And he took that experience and he poured it into into young Timothy. He took young Timothy under his wings, hallelujah, that Timothy, amen, might mature and develop. Hallelujah. And we know that Timothy, amen, did and wound up, Paul wound up leaving him, amen, at the church, amen, at the church, amen, of Ephesus. Hallelujah. The next thing, amen, uh, 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 in discipleship is teaching. Hallelujah. Hear me. We are called as a church, we're called as believers to teach one another. Hallelujah. We're called to teach, amen, each other, amen, how to live this Christian life. Hallelujah. Now, none of us are no better than the rest of us. Hallelujah. But we're called. Listen, we're no better, amen, than the people of the world. Hallelujah. But we're called, amen, to be different. We're called to live out, amen. We're called to live out, amen, this faith. I remember we used to sing a song that said, the things that I used to do, I don't do that no more. The places that I used to go, Man, I don't go there no more. The things that I used to say, hey amen, I don't say that no more without discipling people. Hear me, they won't know. Hey amen, they won't know that we're called, hey amen, listen, not just to come to church and not just to read our Bibles, not just to go to Sunday school and Bible study, but we're called actually, hey amen, hallelujah, to apply this stuff and to live it out amen, to live it out in our lives. And if the truth were to be told, that's what it means when it says we walk by faith. Amen. We walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. In other words, amen. Hallelujah. It's not our senses. We don't live by, you know, it's not our senses. We don't walk by, you know, sight. Uh, 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 we walk by, amen, what the precepts and the dictates uh, 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 that we find, amen, in the word, in the word of God. Hear me, because as, as Christians, amen, we need sound doctrine. We, we, we need to understand, amen, hallelujah. we need to be taught. It's a better word, amen. We need to be taught, amen, of what the Bible, amen, expects of us, amen, as Christians, hallelujah. And we need to teach the basic first, amen. Listen, people come into church, amen, they don't know how to pray. Man, discipleships, all of that's a part of discipleship, amen. Teaching people, amen, how to study the Bible. Teaching people, amen, how to pray, hallelujah. Teaching people, amen, how to worship. Uh, you see people in church, amen, listen, they're new people, they're just looking around, hallelujah. People need to be taught, amen, hallelujah. Somebody took you under your wing, somebody took me under um, uh, their wing, hallelujah, and God is calling us. Brothers and sisters, God is calling you and God is calling me, hallelujah, how to go into the world, evangelize, bring people in the church, and then once they're in, amen, once they're in, to disciple them. People need to know, amen, listen, people need to know once they saved, amen, what are the expectations for them to live out in their own family, hallelujah, once they're at home, amen, they need to be taught. Amen. Hallelujah. How to live, amen, this Christian life in their own, in their own families, how to conduct themselves, amen, in the workplace. Hallelujah. We understand once we get saved, amen, everything we do is as unto, amen, the Lord. Hallelujah. People need to be taught how to discover, amen, their spiritual gifts and so forth. Hallelujah. But all of this comes, brothers and sisters, under under the, the, the heading, amen, of discipleship. And again, I'll say it again, amen, if it's one area, amen, that we as the, the body of Christ has filled in, we filled, amen, in this thing called discipleship. And one reason for that is we're living in a world, brothers and sisters, amen, that has us so busy. Hallelujah, we're just busy from one thing, amen, to the next in this age of technology, 
you know, there's just not enough time, amen. It seems as if the days then got shorter. We know it's 24 hours, amen, but with all the things, amen, that we have to do, amen, hallelujah, it seems as if they're only 20 hours. And somebody that stole, amen, some hours, amen, amen, out of the day, hallelujah. But here's the thing about all of this busyness, amen. The Bible teaches you and the Bible teaches me to be still. Hallelujah. It teaches us to be still and know, amen, that he is God. Hallelujah. But we're in the system, brothers and sisters, where we want it quick, we want it fast, amen, and we want it, amen, in a hurry. So, amen, mentorship and friendship is a part of discipleship. Amen. Teaching is certainly a part of discipleship. And then last, the third thing I want to talk about in discipleship is serving. Hallelujah, you and I have been saved to serve. Hallelujah, we are called, amen, to put our faith into practice. We're called to live out, amen, that faith. You know, James says, amen, uh, 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 show me your faith without your works and I'll show you my faith by, amen, my works. Amen, hallelujah, these precepts, amen, that we learn, Amen. In the word of God, the Bible study, Sunday school, or your own private time. Amen. We're learning those things. Amen. In order that we might live life, hear me, that we might live life from God's, amen, from God's perspective. Hallelujah. And serving, brothers and sisters, is one of the ways, amen, listen, that we, that we disciple, amen, uh, 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 other Christians. Hallelujah. We, we live out or we model, amen, uh, uh, we model the character, there it is, hallelujah, we model the character of Jesus, amen, on a daily, amen, on a daily basis, and for those of us, amen, listen, for those of us that's in ministry of any kind, hear me on today, hallelujah, we need to realize that God has privileged us to serve in ministry, Hallelujah. We need to realize, amen, it's not what we do, but it's who, amen, we can equip to do, amen, what we do. Hallelujah. If you're serving in any capacity, amen, in ministry, it is your responsibility to reach back and to mentor someone or disciple someone that they may be able, amen, to do what it is, amen, that you are doing. Hear me. Again, I want to reiterate, amen, that discipleship is costly. Hallelujah. Jesus must have priority, hear me, over our wills, over our plans, over our ideas. Amen. Hallelujah. It's all about, amen, Jesus says, follow. It's all about, amen, following him. And what that means is when Jesus says, follow me, what he means is, amen, going his way, brothers and sisters, going his way into his purposes, hallelujah, and not our own, and not our own way, hallelujah, it means following, it means following, following his plans, his plans, amen, that's going to produce, amen, his purposes, and not obeying, not obeying, amen, our own, not obeying our own will. Hallelujah. Here, 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 here's some marks of disciples. And then I'm out of your way. Hallelujah. Disciples makes good decisions and decisions that are focused on God's will. A disciple is honest with others and himself. A disciple knows his abilities, his gifts, amen, and, he, and his talents, amen, and he takes those abilities, gifts, and his talents, amen, and he uses them, amen, to edify Amen. To edify uh, uh, others that are in, amen, the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. God gave you a gift, amen, the same, amen, in order that you might, amen, hallelujah, use that gift. Hallelujah. Use that gift, that voice that God has given you to praise, amen, hallelujah, for praise and to lead other people, amen, into praise. Another amen mark of a disciple, he's willing to submit to authority, hallelujah. He's infused, amen, with humility. He doesn't have a critical or bad attitude, hallelujah, disciples, hallelujah. They're not greedy, hallelujah. He's willing, amen, that's another one. A disciple, amen, is willing to wait on God's timing, hallelujah. 
A disciple, amen, is a great listener. Hallelujah, be quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to wrath. A disciple, amen, is a great listener. Hallelujah. Disciples, amen, we, we confess our sin quickly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We don't let sin, amen, listen. We don't become sinless, but we do sin less than we used to, amen. And when we do fall, amen, hallelujah, we don't let that thing hang around. We confess that thing, hallelujah, amen. When we mess up, we fess up, hallelujah. Hear me on today, amen. A disciple, amen, hallelujah, does not walk in pride, hallelujah. He loves people. A disciple loves people, especially lost people. Amen. A disciple does not turn his nose up. Amen. At, uh, at lost people. Hallelujah. He loves them. A disciple is a person that's quick to forgive. Hallelujah. And they're willing to embrace hard times. Watch this now. It's growth opportunities. Hallelujah. And a disciple, last but not least, disciples, brothers and sisters, are faithful people. Hallelujah, they're consistent, they're, 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 they're faithful, hallelujah, they're faithful, amen, in the things, amen, in the things of God. As we, as we close out tonight, amen, 58 days, brothers and sisters, 58 days left, amen, in the year of 2021, hallelujah, 20, 58 days left, amen, in the year, Amen. Of reset. Hallelujah. And I am convinced, amen, brothers and sisters, that God is calling his church back. He's calling us back. Amen. Hallelujah. To some of the things, brothers and sisters, that for whatever reason, some of the things, amen, that we have overlooked, revivals, amen, prayer meetings, hallelujah, things of that nature. I believe that God is calling us Amen. Certainly that God is calling us back to. Hallelujah. Those are the things. Amen. That's going to conclude our teaching. Amen. On this evening. Amen. For making disciples. Hallelujah. Why don't you close your eyes? Why don't you bow your heads right where you are? Let's go to the Lord for the word of prayer. Father, tonight in Jesus' name, we just want to thank you. Just want to give you glory, God, now and honor and praise, Lord, now for who you are. Thank you for your word, oh Lord. Thank you, oh Lord, now realizing. That is the entrance of your word, God, now that give it light, O oh Lord. We esteem, God, now your word higher than our necessary foods. Father, on tonight, amen, I pray, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name, for each and every person that's on the line, God, those that's going to be tuning in, God, and for rebroadcast. I pray that you just stir up, stir up the gifts, God, now that's on the inside of us, O oh Lord. Now help us, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Help us to go forth, O oh Lord, now, and, and allow our lives, O oh God, now to be light in an otherwise dark world, O oh Lord. Now help us, God, now to stand on your word, the truth, O oh God. Help us, O oh Lord, now to bring glory to your name. Father, we love you tonight. We honor you tonight, and we praise you tonight. God, we pray these blessings in the name of our life, changing King Jesus to Christ. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Come on, let somebody say amen tonight. Hallelujah. Somebody shout glory tonight. Amen. Let me hear you. Amen. Let me hear you on tonight. Hear me, beloved. Amen. For those of you that are still on the line tonight, I want you to know, amen, that God is up to something. Amen. We're, we're in, this is the greatest season throughout all of human history, brothers and sisters, to be alive. Hear me on tonight. Amen. Listen, God is calling us, amen, to test to prove scriptures Amen. And to just stand on his word. Somebody say, why did I say that? Amen. Because the darker and darker it gets for the world, the brighter and brighter it gets for the church. And if the truth were to be told, we're living in a dark, we're living in a dark world. We're living in a time of gross darkness. Brothers and sisters, amen. Allow pastor to sound the alarm in case you're not paying attention. Amen. But these systems all around us are collapsing. Hallelujah, they are collapsing, amen. They're putting band-aids on them, amen. But hallelujah, the Bible talks about, amen, when the systems of the world has become uh, 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 the systems of our Lord and our Christ, amen. Hallelujah, these things, amen. Hear me tonight, they're all crumbling. 
Hallelujah, they're all crumbling. But this is the promises, amen, that God has made unto you and God has made unto me. God says, now I will keep your mind in perfect peace if you keep it stayed on me. Beloved, we're living in a season, amen, if you don't keep your mind on God, amen, there ain't no telling, amen, hallelujah, where your mind, amen, will wind up. There's no telling where your mind is going to wind up at, amen. Hallelujah. I thank God, amen, for each and every one of you. For those of you that can and those of you that will, amen. Hallelujah. So see you on tonight. Amen. Allow me to pray. Please allow me to pray, amen, over your gifts on tonight. Amen. Why don't you bow your head once again? Hallelujah. Father, tonight, amen, we pray over this time of worship you and giving. We understand, God, all that we have, you gave us who we are, you made us, and where we've gone, you're going to take us. So, Father, I pray now. I pray your blessings, oh God, now over this, uh, uh, over our seed planting. I ask, Father, now that you give us back money and something money cannot buy. We love you. We honor you. We praise you. We do this all in the name of our life, changing King Jesus of Christ. And certainly in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us all say amen. Let us all say amen. Hallelujah. Let us all say amen. Again, listen, looking forward. Looking forward for another wonderful, exciting, adventurous week. Amen. In the Lord on this weekend. Amen. Looking forward to seeing you Saturday morning in our church school hour. And then on Sunday. Amen. God has been blessing us. Amen. God has been blessing us tremendously. Hallelujah. I want to thank God. Amen. For each and every one of you. Amen. I want you to continue. Amen. To pray for us. Amen. As we're going to continue. Amen. Certainly to pray for you. Someone will agree with me tonight when I say amen. Hallelujah. Still power in prayer. And prayer certainly still changes things. Amen. Once again, thank you so much for your presence. Amen. On tonight. Amen. Listen, I want you to enjoy. Certainly want you to enjoy the rest of your evening. Amen. And listen. Give thanks, brothers and sisters, with a grateful, amen, with a grateful heart because God has been good. Amen. Listen, God has been good. Amen to you. And God has certainly, amen, been good to me. Hallelujah. Amen. On this evening, amen. My prayer is that the Lord would continue to richly bless you. And certainly that the Lord will continue, amen, to keep you is certainly my prayer. Amen. And I'll see you this weekend. Bye now. Have a nice night.